So this is the building I already did in the Pharaoh show. You can see the obelisk behind here. And there. But go away, go away. Go away. So here it is. Two obelisks. So this is the building where they torture to death. Uh, many, many, many foreigners through code O2T. And I'm going to tell you now what it is exactly. This is the place where they murdered uh, Mr. Wolfgang Umfogel because, uh, excuse me, this is the place where they murdered Wolfgang Umfogel because um, he sold uh, banking CDs about uh, Swiss tax evasion uh, havens sucking out the US economy and the German and the European economy economy they're responsible for the um, for the downfall of the euro the euro the Swiss the Swiss banks are and um, so Mr. Wolfgang Umfogel he wanted to give it to the US and Germany and um, so in two weeks time they they suicided him they murdered him a complete healthy man he was already a millionaire so why torture in torture prison burn Switzerland O2T impossible to breathe in Guantanamo or Gitmo in army slang cause of filter on mouth and nose or lack of oxygen in Amthaus high security prison in Bern Switzerland still is white torture at the height of its art doesn't leave any exterior traces and attacks the brain directly cause 80% of the air taken in goes to the head under normal circumstances and this is a medical fact California surfing or waterboarding is exactly founded on the same technique the subject is being tied onto a board and the head is forced underwater just until the subject doesn't die yet Consequently, a chronicle lack of oxygen is being created, as in the Amthaus prison in Bern. That makes the head cooperative, never the blood will be correctly nourished with the appropriate amount of oxygen. Experts on torture around the globe agree that O2T, phonetically of O2T is oxygen torture, uh, still is the best. Phonetic transcription like K9 this K9 is Dog Squadron are common use in English spoken countries. Oh, they're so aggressive, these Swiss. Amazing. Or, or fear for the tea or brew in which the head is being submerged, sounding phonetically almost as O2T does. Afraid of the brew. Though grammatically not completely correct, but a tiny detail shouldn't get in the way and spoil all the fun in awe of would be more correct but anybody gets the meaning as it is and at the same time an additional secret code is created again enabling deciphering the matter the CIA cocaine import agency emphasizes on the practical side as improvising in the field concerning O2T merely using a toilet a bucket full of water, tape or a plastic bag. Before in history the extracting of intelligence was obtained by cutting, sawing, hanging, hitting, pulling out, chopping and electroshocking, always confronting the subject with the potential of a heart attack. In the meantime, heartbeat lowering medicals were administered. That's why O2T is so beautiful, because side effects as those concerning the heart are avoided. And in Switzerland, several foreigners, actually many, were deliberately assassinated by the state through O2T by taping them on a wheelchair with mouth and nose tape, leaving only a straw in the mouth for breathing. 
with on top of that an integrated motorcycle helmet for total O2T, a diameter of 4 mm only for clinging on to life. Then put them on airplanes to mostly Muslim third world countries, similar to the actual kidnappings of third world citizens and trans flights all over the world by members of the firm, the green slime in army terms. By the way, death by crucifixion also is a state planned murder by O2T. One dies through every muscle in the entire body being exhausted, finally leaving correctional muscles unable to expand and retract until suffocation by O2T follows. In secret service manuals by the military counterintelligence there is word of oxygen partial pressure in kilopascal. In case the occasion is presented to control or manipulate the oxygen pressure in the air at the military base by scientists and doctors. Here survey is an important factor concerning the limits of severe brain damage at a maximum level of 8 8.0 kilopascal. Within extreme case of national security, these limits may be surpassed, it says. In the manuals, it's pointed out that the direct consequences of O2T are tissue hip hypoxy with anaerobic glycolysis. Without countermeasures, measures followed up by blood poisoning and internal bleedings of the lungs, as was Abdi Daud's case, there was another another Arab murdered in Switzerland by O2T, he's one of hundreds, who was murdered by O2T by the Swiss state on March 24, 2008 in the extraditionary penitentiary of Cloton Airport. A hypoxy is a lack of oxygen in the organs, tissues by O2T, therefore the organism starts burning up sugars instead of oxygen. So lactic acids are being produced. The latter chemical process is being called a glycolysis. A chemical breakdown of all gly glucoses into lactic acids under anaerobic conditions without air, that is, equals O2T. Resuming the scientific process by the termin terminolo terminology, terminology of lactic acidosis. This is what the diagnosis diagnosis would be as a result of the murderers O2T. To acknowledge furthermore that day and night in the Cloton penitentiary one breathes in the kerosene exhaust gases of airplanes that consequently will lead to chronic hypoxia through O2T and all empty doubts, physical complaints as arthritis, blood poisoning are to be considered as the side effects or consequence of electric acidosis through O2T and the authorities are very well aware of it as the international cooperation of all secret services is established. So this is the place where um, Wolfgang Umfogel and many many other people were being suicided by the Swiss state and I've got threats by the Swiss police and Justice Department that they are um, the next time they arrest me they're going to do the same thing with me they just lie something together and put foreigners in prison in this criminal country so the o2t and the chronic accumulation with o2t the subject uh, is being heavily tortured in every cell of his body though the damages are not immediately visible from the outside as is equally the case with the American waterboarding. Waterboarding is one of the many forms of O2T by which as with all O2T the inflicted damages are incurable because of the dying of brain cells and also after the termination of the torture as after a switch on button the organism won't stop degenerating where cells continuously die through drastic increase of stress, panic and fear of slowly suffocating, the process of cells dying will be on the rise. As if a switch or interrupter has been turned, the internal structure of the subject's cells, even after many years, won't stop to degenerate, to degenerate and cells will continue to die. In spite of the fact that O2T belongs to the group of slow tortures, the consequences are beyond repair and invisible from the outside. 
the insidious side of O2T torture. O2T characters characterizes itself as well by chronic accumulation. That means that the building up takes place because the longer the elapsed time over which torture has been committed and applied, the more tired and saturated the subject organism will gradually become. The torture's consequences after, let's say, six months. Can you move, please? are per day comparatively much greater as the consequences within the first week. At the beginning the cells still offer resistance and the intrinsic values within the cell structure still show a higher amount of oxygen in the beginning. By the end of the on the cellular level all resistance will be broken and with that the subject's resistance as a whole. This is the moment we're extracting that military intelligence terminology for questioning can start through the destructions of the cells by lack of oxygen premature grey hair can consequently be witnessed on the subject as can be seen if suffering cancer in a similar way of course the unimaginable sufferings of a foreigner subject is of no importance to fanatic Swiss Nazis of the notorious SVP party and others quite similar to a US specialized intelligence operator and others whom has been eliminated all leftovers of conscience in his brain through political indoctrination and enhanced determined training. The enemy, a terrorist or a black SVP sheep, just deserved it. And with this it has to be observed that in fact ethics and human rights are inexistent. It has been statistically proven that the best clearing and extracting rates are being obtained through O2T torture. And around the torture prison burn, which we can see now, unfortunately they are working on it. And you can see the barbed wire so nobody climbs in it. Um, and especially in summertime when through two little differences in temperature air currents are practically in existence in the penitentiary which is shown here the O2T is considered to be most dreadful where most people are being suicided in Bern there's talk of real experiments on humans going on as through total nepotism and all want to earn on the degenerated corruption around the Justice Department in Switzerland in Bern. Lawyers, Securitas Swiss, the SS, eh? Securitas Swiss, transporting the subjects, they who bring the food, who build the prisons, eh? who construct, which we can see here, the architects, construction firms, psychiatrists, psychologists, psychologists, hospitals, the pharmaceutical industries with their pills, politicians, a sheer endless list of corruptions, of corruption who, are, who all want to earn around and on prisons and on the death of foreigners in Switzerland. These Swiss especially love to murder defenseless people like refugees and Palestinians, among others, many others, they murdered the 27-year-old Khaled Abu Zarifa from Gaza on March 4, 1999 by Ultimate O2T. That's a code word for death by suffocation. Ultimate, ultimate O2T, that is. The tides will turn for the CIA and Swiss Nazis. Today's torturers might be tomorrow's victims. Whereas the responsibility for the crimes against humanity won't be just limited unto the torturers only. So, briefly, waterboarding. The subject is being tortured in every cell of his body. The brain cells will die off fin finally. And it's like, uh, like turning, turning a button. It won't stop even. The degeneration of his organism won't stop even 10 years later. So, um, all human rights and um, please somebody do something because waterboarding and the O2T torture which is being done here, the moment we're talking here, it's being done there. People are being suicided right now.
and this is a uh, as waterboarding is a torture where every cell of the body of the organism of this subject is being tortured very 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 heavily consequently and eternally so please do something it's like another false flag operation you know you don't see it from the outside you know that people die through waterboarding and the Swiss O2T torture okay bye bye for now